this is a model of trans dinitrogen difluoride if we look this molecule from the front view or side view we can see that all atoms on the same plane looks like planar molecule and if we look from the top view as well we can see all atoms on the same plane all right so now we are going to find out the symmetry elements operation for this molecule so the first symmetry elements operation is rotation so i want to rotate this molecule i can see that if i rotate 180 degree this fluorine will move to here and this fluorine will move to there it means that to rotate 180 degree we need to find out the c2 axis so the c2 axis must be here through the nitrogen nitrogen bond here all right so we try to rotate 180 degree through this c2 axis okay so rotate clockwise we get the same configuration as before okay so we label here because the axis passing through the nitrogen double bond nitrogen here so it's like a point passing through here the bond so we label c2 axis and of course on the same axis we can rotate C1 is 360 degree. Alright, so next we want to find out the symmetry elements which is reflection plane. So this molecule is planar. So should be the plane cut through all atoms. So this plane cuts through all atoms fluorine nitrogen nitrogen and fluorine all right so you just imagine like a mirror plane so let's say the plane cutting through all atoms we get the same configuration after the reflection so actually this plane is perpendicular with the c2 axis so, as we know that C2 axis is the main axis here. And this plane perpendicular with the main axis. So, we can label that plane as horizontal plane. Alright, next we find center of symmetry for this molecule. The center should be in the middle, nitrogen-nitrogen bond. So we assume the center should be here. So we inverse all opposite atoms. So nitrogen here and this nitrogen inverse through this center. So we get the same configuration as before and then we try to inverse this fluorine and that fluorine inverse through this center so we get the same configuration as before so it means that this molecule has center of symmetry here okay so center of symmetry is equivalent with the S2 symmetry elements operation. Alright, so now we are going to list all the symmetry elements operation for this molecule. So this molecule has identity C1, C2 and the last one is horizontal plane. Alright, 
So next, we try to find out point group for this molecule. Okay, so this molecule is not linear and also not tetrahedral shape or octahedral shape. So, and then we look at the symmetry elements operation here. We can see this molecule has C1, C2 and also 1 plane. So, it means that our option for the point group, so either CNV or CNH. Alright, so because this molecule has only horizontal plane, so it means that this is the best answer. So the point group for this molecule is C2 because the main axis C2 and H because this molecule has sigma H. So this is the point group for this molecule.